Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Super Sim series. Now, something new that I'm going to start in this series is that we are going to have other households that are played households. So the first one is going to be Max Power. Now I got this Max Power off of the gallery. And if you're wondering, this is by XX underscore Claudia underscore 92 underscore XX. And I guess this person is a fan. It's not the official Max Power, but there really is no official one from James Turner. So this is the best that I could do. And I thought it was a pretty good representation. So thank you for making this Max Power. And then we have Julissa Power, which is actually one of my subscribers' extra sims. So I decided that her personality kind of matched Max since she is creative. So I went ahead and married these two and gave her the last name Power instead of her other last name. And then we made Maximus. So Maximus is an infant and he will be the first in the power line. And I went ahead and moved them into this little house in Ravenwood since this is where our actual super sim is currently located, but we will be moving her out. And maybe we'll get a couple of extra things for like a nursery since they do have an infant. So maybe we'll add a crib in the bedroom, nothing complicated. And then downstairs, oh, I don't know, maybe a high chair. And that's pretty much all they need. So I will be leaving neighborhood stories on for these two, but I don't think that they'll be doing very much in the way of participating in the series. So I do need 10 families to have 10 generations. And that's basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave them marked as played and we'll track their progress, but I'm not going to really play with them too much, except for when the oldest son or daughter reaches adulthood, I will choose another spouse for that person and then have them have a child. Okay, so for a toddler, I think we probably want to have a tiny home, but unfortunately, all of the houses are not tiny homes. So we just need to make over this house a little bit and try to get it to be a tiny home. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I think it's going to be a little bit of a tight squeeze because of the tiny home. But anyway, this is the front living area. We have all of our necessities. And then we have the kitchen and then this backyard area. And then upstairs, this is going to be when it's difficult because I have to put the walls down or I can't see anything. That's the unfortunate part of having a false room is that's just the way it goes. So anyway, we have the bathroom upstairs and the bedroom and we pretty much shouldn't be using this very often. I do have to use the potty and sometimes Annalise may need to sleep, but to be honest, we shouldn't be up here too much. So I don't think it will lower the aesthetic value of the place that much. And then I need to have a nightmare. And because Pandora needs to have a nightmare with low thinking skill, or at least as low as possible, she has thinking skill level two. I think what I'm going to do is make a thunderstorm. And I did that last time with the weather machine, but this time let's go ahead and turn Carla into a mermaid. And in order to do that, I need to enter a body of water. So maybe we'll just get a pool. Okay, so now that Carla is a mermaid with a nose ring for some reason, she can call down a thunderstorm. And the nice thing about the mermaid abilities is that they don't fail. When you're using the weather machine, you can even kill yourself. Now, in order to increase the likelihood that she gets a nightmare, it's good if she goes to sleep when she's scared. And being outside in a thunderstorm always makes a sim scared. 
Okay, Annalise had a, a nightmare. Okay, so she had okay a close strike from lightning, but that's not a nightmare. All right, so Annalise got a nightmare. No, go back to bed. Okay, well, unfortunately, she did not get a nightmare, and she's now fully rested. Okay, so maybe we'll just work on something else right now and have Carla call off the storm. Oh, no, Pandora is a heavy sleeper. Oh, no, toddlers who are heavy sleepers won't wake up as easily from surrounding noises are less likely to wake up from nightmares and have an easier time getting good rest. I don't like this quirk. This is going to make it so hard. Okay, well, she just needs to wake up from a nightmare once. <laughs> this is going to make this tough. Joy. All right, well, let's do the creativity skill. And she's a messy eater. That's one of my other favorite traits. Okay, we're going to make Annalise a painter. And maybe we'll have Carla do the floral designer career. I need to get them both out of the house so that Pandora can go to daycare. Okay, that's imagination skill level five. Now, I think she can do the appreciate art with that. Yes, so she has art appreciation. Oh, she's actually going to talk to Max without even prompting. Oh, no. Pandora, why did you kick him? I didn't tell you to kick him. Okay, she is aggressive, apparently. Well, I decided that we'd probably integrate Max a little bit into our Let's Play here, and he's going to be Pandora's first friend. Okay, we're friends, and now we're the first childhood friend of Max Power. So Max Power is the first friend outside of the family. Maybe we can get introduced to his son? Well, he's asleep. Okay, so now Pandora knows Maximus. Okay, and we can call the thunderstorm because Pandora is really tired. She does need to eat something, though. I think that I'm going to ignore her hunger need, though, because, oh, she's not even scared. Look at all of those good buffs. I don't know if I can get rid of them from a toddler. I guess I can just sleep them off. The only thing is she wants to run inside. <laughs> well, it looks like she's going to be off to daycare, so... It doesn't really matter. She didn't get a nightmare. Okay, and then we're just going to bring them home. Because she got the milestone, and I really don't care. Okay, I guess we'll focus on the movement skill next. I need her needs to be really low. Because for toddlers, it doesn't really matter if their needs are low, other than it affects their skill gain. So she needs to throw a tantrum. And in order to throw a tantrum, she needs to be angry. And she gets angry when she's hungry and tired and dirty. So we'll let all of her needs go down and try to keep her from getting attention too. And then maybe we can throw a tantrum. Oh, okay. She did get learned to run at level four. So she's going to get all of her toddler milestones. I fixed the toddler milestone bug sort of but anyway we're going to be able to do that without cheats and we maxed movement skill and we got the appropriate milestone all right we'll just focus on potty right now because that's a boring one. Oh, good she's very very angry good now we can throw a tantrum right throw a tantrum and there we go we threw a tantrum And that's one of the first milestones. Okay, so we need to ask for food. I know. 
but let's just mark off this milestone first. Okay, we really don't need to ask for food. We can just take it from the refrigerator. Oh, did she have a nightmare? Pandora had a nightmare. Okay, I think this gives you the milestone around when you get up out of bed. Okay, she had a nightmare, but it wasn't the normal nightmare buff. Oh, did that count? No, that did not count. Okay, that's not the normal nightmare. That's the nightmare thing that they give to adults. It didn't count. Okay, now Pandora had a nightmare about being watched silently by a very creepy doll. I think I need to get rid of the cursed lot trait. I think it's the cursed lot trait that makes you have those nightmares and they just don't count. No, again, Pandora had a nightmare about being given free earbuds. Pandora isn't sure why, but it just felt wrong. That's the adult nightmares. I don't want those because they don't count as having a nightmare. She didn't get the nightmare buff and she can go right back to sleep. Oh, is she bugged because she has that heavy sleeper? Oh, man. It says less likely to wake up from nightmares. I think maybe it's still possible for her to wake up from a nightmare. I hope it is, but this might ruin things. Okay, the best way to get communication up is to talk to the stuffed animals. And I've also removed the spooky lot trait and the curse lot trait is removed as well. The lot challenges, that is. Because I'm not sure what is making them have those ghost nightmares because the adults get them too. I'm hoping that they will no longer get those. And we maxed communication skill. All right. We need to be able to ask why, but I think that requires more thinking skill. The only other thing we can work on is potty, really. And we mastered potty training skill as well. Okay, I'm not sure what gets her the red first book milestone. Maybe it's her reading the book. Can't remember if it's her or if it's someone else that needs to read the book. Oh, yes, it says with enough imagination, Pandora will be able to read on her own. So I believe she has to read the book herself. Okay, that completed the red first book milestone. Okay, I'm not sure how I do the played with others. I tried play dolls with, and it's not popping up with the little option as to choose somebody. So can I just join her? and get that milestone. I don't know if it has to be another child that plays with her. Yeah, played with others. Okay, so I didn't even have to have Annalise sit there for very long. She immediately got that milestone. Well, the only one we need to do now is that had a nightmare milestone and the other ones are related to her cognitive abilities so i don't want to do those until after i get the nightmare milestone one well there's studied letters is that flashcards or is it blocks i think it's maybe blocks because it's in the cognitive section Okay, supposedly another way to get a scared moodlet is to go in the tent and get scared by someone playing monster. <laughs> I don't think that this gets her very scared, though. She just looks angry. Great. Okay. Yeah, she's only getting angry. She's not getting scared. When Annalise did it on purpose without me telling her. Maybe if I have her talk to a stranger, she'll get that stranger danger moodlet. It just seems like no matter what, I can't get her to be scared. Wait. Wait. Pandora is a toddler and she's seeing 
the mermaid tails. Maybe it's because Carla is a mermaid and she's in her family tree. I thought you weren't supposed to see the mermaid tails unless you knew about mermaids, which takes an adult ability to ask if someone's a mermaid. All right, well, she's not getting the stranger danger. It looks like everyone else is scared. I'm just talking to a bunch of strangers. It doesn't matter. It's so funny how she's not scared and they're scared. It's not thunderstorming. It's just a light rain. Why is everyone scared? Okay, we'll try it one more time. Sleeping in a thunderstorm. No, it says nightmare. Pandora had a nightmare about buying a strange clown painting from a yard sale and then there was a knock at the door. It's not the one that gives them the sad buff. It's like an adult or a child having a nightmare. And I don't know how to fix that. She gets this little emoji, no ghosts. And I'm not sure if that's because I once made this a spooky lot or a curse lot. Oh, I don't know. Okay, I got her to have a nightmare while napping, and that did not help. The bad part is there's no way to change those toddler quirks. I might just have to start over. Oh, so sad. There is volcanic activity, which makes her really scared. But she didn't even wake up for, okay, she did wake up for the volcano. Okay, right now she's terrified and I'm having her nap. I don't know if napping allows her to get that milestone or not. The funny part is, this little symbology thing glows every time she has a nightmare, like she's getting a milestone, but the milestone doesn't show up and she doesn't get the too afraid to go back to sleep thing. So I think that the nightmare is not working. Now I didn't have this problem before. I think it might have been because I didn't choose independent as my toddler trait. I think that one is probably preventing me from getting the nightmare milestone. She has some kind of nightmare that's not a toddler nightmare, so it's not counting. I might have to restart her toddlerhood, which is not fun. Okay, so I did some testing and here's what I found really isn't the independent trait and it's not the heavy sleeper trait either. The problem is the thunderstorm. I don't know why, but the thunderstorm is actually preventing her from getting that milestone because it's a different kind of nightmare. And I thought that was what was supposed to make the nightmare happen more often and it does it makes a nightmare happen but it's not the one that gives you the milestone so we're just going to sleep and not have any thunderstorms which is annoying but i guess you live and you learn. I mean, last time I know I did it during a thunderstorm, but I'm not sure what kind of nightmare I got. So we'll try and get everybody's needs up and then just sleep as long as we can. Now it will take her longer to get a nightmare because she's an independent toddler, but there are other toddler traits that are even more annoying. So for example, the clingy trait, the angelic trait, and I think maybe the charmer trait make them get sad when they get hungry and tired and they never get angry. And that means it's hard to throw a tantrum. So independent is good for tantrums, but bad for nightmares. Now you can also get a nightmare by napping. It doesn't have to be sleeping. 
So we'll just nap away the days until she gets this milestone. Okay, the only issue is now it's Pandora's birthday. Well, this may not work out. I might have to turn aging off again. She's a toddler, and it's going to cost me three more potions of youth, but that's fine. I wonder if it would be quicker to just redo everything. All right, three potions of youth, which means one more week. I don't know why it's taking so much longer this time. Last time I got it after Winterfest. And yeah, Annalise had a nightmare, but that's not what I'm looking for. I need Pandora to have a nightmare. I'm going back and forth between sleeping and napping. Sleeping, she wakes up immediately because she's not tired, but I'm not going to wait for her to get tired. That just takes way too long. She gets that little ghost mood lit with a cross over it. And I'm not sure if that's when she's supposed to get a nightmare. I'm starting to think that something is bugged with Pandora. I went an entire week sleeping all week and no nightmares. Either I got incredibly lucky last time or something is still bugged. So I'm going to repeat what I did in my experiment, which is to import another Pandora. Okay, and we're going to call her Clingy instead of Pandora. And instead of making her independent, we're going to make her Clingy. And then we're going to send her to sleep. No, 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 you go back in there. You cannot escape. Okay, I'm going to burn another four potions of youth. Okay, so the Clingy toddler immediately gets a nightmare and then after that point for some reason the original Pandora is able to get a nightmare okay and then we delete clingy okay here's what I've decided uh this is just taking way too long unfortunately Pandora is not getting her milestone and She's just not having any nightmares. I did get it to happen once off camera and I was running an experiment where I had her sister in the household and she was just a random toddler that had the clingy trait. And I was trying to test if the clingy traded toddler would get a nightmare with a thunderstorm and she had the same symptom as Pandora. Basically the thunderstorms will not allow you to get the milestone. You'll get a bunch of nightmares but they're the wrong kind of nightmare. So as soon as I let the clingy toddler sleep without a thunderstorm and without the scared moodlet, she immediately got the milestone. And then Pandora did like one or two days later after repeatedly sleeping and napping all the time. But now that's not happening. So in order to fix this, because I've been sleeping for basically two weeks almost. Almost two weeks. Tomorrow it will be two weeks. So we're just going to take a different route because this is just not working for me. And I think that what we'll also do is try to clean up the hybrids. So in order to clean up the hybrids, we need to make the wolf be gone. Mm. Oh no, she was, oh man. You used my ingredients. It interrupted her because she was shouting forbidden words or something. And Carla quit making the drink. Carla. It's a good thing I have extra ingredients. Annalise quit shouting forbidden words. I don't know why she got this criminal presence thing. Okay, we did get one wolf be gone. I actually need two. And I don't have any more moon petals. I had nine moon petals. How did I use nine moon petals? I thought it only took three. Maybe I only had six. Okay. I guess I didn't have any extra ingredients. Thanks a lot, Annalise. Well, I will not be able to cure her brother then. That's okay. I guess I can just take her brother and cure him of the spellcasterness, and then he won't be a hybrid. Happy That's birthday, nice. Pandora. Oh, okay. Okay, and traits don't really matter. 
we'll just go ahead and give you the klepto trait and pick one of the aspirations. And then we actually need her to be a teenager. Happy birthday again, Pandora. Okay, not so sure why you're wearing a towel. Was that your sleepwear? Yeah, it must have been sleepwear. Okay, that's fine. All right, now we get to drink the wolf be gone so that she will not be a werewolf next time when she ages up to teenager. All right, bye-bye, werewolf. And we'll go ahead and take her to the spellcaster realm using her glimmer stone. Hey, Morgan. I really don't want to be a spellcaster anymore. At least not right now. I'll be one later on. Okay, we'll get that taken care of for you right away. Okay, so now she's not any occult at all. Okay, and notice how she has all of her toddler milestones and all of her infant milestones. So we won't have to do these over again because I'm going to save her out and then re-import her and set her back to a toddler and choose her trait again. We will have to earn the skills again, but we do not have to earn the milestones again, hopefully. Okay, and Dwight is also a hybrid, so we're going to fix him. Okay, if you have hybrids, the easiest thing to do is to take them to the magic realm and ask for the Rite of Disillusion. This means that you don't have to make the werewolf cure because that requires ingredients and you have to have the recipe. So now he's just a regular werewolf and he should be fine. Okay, then we have Clement's household. Now he has all the other kids and it looks like Camille is not a spellcaster or werewolf. And then same for Miracle. George is fine. All right, Nash is just a werewolf, which is fine. And Jada is neither. And I thought Nolan would be a hybrid but no he is not so we don't have any more hybrids the hybrid was the only one that got the half alien so nolan was just a werewolf and not a half alien and he's also not a spellcaster okay well this household is fine Nice. Okay, and just as I've done this before, first huh. we save the household out and then re-merge this household back in. And then the first Pandora is the one I'm going to delete. And then we also delete Carla and Annalise. And then this is the new Pandora. So what we'll do is we're going to set her back to toddler. <laughs> And then pick a different trait. Now, Clingy works well for getting the nightmare. But if you're starting out without the other milestones, you probably want to pick maybe inquisitive or fussy or silly or wild. Anything except for Clingy, independent, charmer, or angelic. And the reason why is because the angelic and charmer, I think, but definitely angelic and clingy. They don't get angry when they get hungry and tired. They get sad. And so you can't throw a tantrum. And then independent doesn't have nightmares. At least it's very, very, very rare. And then on top of that, I got the one that has a heavy sleeper quirk, which is also bad. So I got so many unlucky traits that I just couldn't get the nightmare. So we're going to make her clingy because I know that one works really well. And of course, all of her outfits are all screwed up, but maybe we should make her, I don't know, if we don't set Annalise as her mother, then we don't have the Grim Reaper in our family tree. And we can get that milestone later. I don't know. What are you guys' thoughts on that? Um, we could set Carla as the mother, even though technically she's not the mother. And then Annalise is her sister. 
Now, this will avoid putting the Grim Reaper in her family tree. So it's kind of weird that Carla is the grandmother. So maybe we'll just keep her as the mother. Okay, Pandora, let's just go to bed. All right, so she has no skills whatsoever. But she does have all of her milestones. So the benefit of having all the milestones is I don't have to do a lot of these things over again. And yeah, she still has all of her infant milestones as well. Now, the one strange thing about this is that she does have the happy toddler trait from getting all skills to level three. Hopefully that doesn't screw up when I age her up again. If it does, then I'm not sure what we're going to do. Yeah, see, Pandora has Carla as a mother, and so the Grim Reaper is not in her family tree anymore. <laughs> that is a little bit twisted, but we're going to go with it for now. Okay, I turned aging back on, but I'm going to go ahead and purchase one more potion of youth. Because I did kind of reset Pandora again. And I'm going to purchase a retraining potion. Because I retraded her. And normally I would be able to do this with this potion. But toddlers can't drink it. Alright. And now she's up. I think maybe she doesn't get it unless she sleeps during the night. I don't know. We'll just go ahead and start working on some of her needs. And her toddler skills again. You need your diaper changed. No, don't change her diaper. Let's have you take a bath. Well, we might as well start on potty training after the bath because she's clingy. So she can't use the potty on her own. Okay, she loves sounds and she has a good appetite. So hopefully she won't get the heavy sleeper one. And just like that, we mastered the imagination skill. All right, let's work on movement. Okay, it's 8.18 p.m. It's definitely night. We did get to level 2 potty. Now let's see if we can have that nightmare. I don't get it. She's not getting a nightmare. Why does this happen instantly when I don't need it to happen? And when I'm recording and it needs to happen, she doesn't get one. She has the clingy trait. Is it the trusting the universe from the top-notch toddler thing preventing her from getting a nightmare? I have no idea. Oh, wait, she get a nightmare? I saw her have the little no ghost emoticon above her head, okay? She just got a good night's rest. Great. I just have the worst luck with this. I don't know what's going on. Do we go back to napping a lot and seeing if she'll get the nightmare? No, she acquired the thinking skill, but we don't need her to have the thinking skill. Oh, she loves books. Okay, so we do not have a bad trait that reduces the amount of nightmares she gets. So we're just going to continue to nap and see if I can get this to happen. Okay, she doesn't have the top-notch toddler buff. Let's see if we can get the nightmare from napping. I don't know if you can get a nightmare when you're napping. Maybe you can. No, she got the top-notch thing again. All right, well, I don't know if that's preventing it, but something is preventing her from getting it. Okay, we're just working on communication here. We need to get to communication level 5. And I don't think we finished the movement skill. Yeah, we're on level four. Okay, now we're level five in communication. And maybe we can max out our movement skill. And we mastered the movement skill. Okay, so potty and thinking, that's it. And she has level one thinking with 1% in it. So... Come on, she has to have a nightmare. Oh, finally, she got the nightmare. Please tell me, oh, we got the milestone. Oh, it's about time. Okay, don't go wake up, Carla. I mean, I'll wake up Carla for you. Because now we can work on thinking. 
after you go potty. Okay, we mastered the potty skill, and now we're going to master the thinking skill by watching Carla. Oh, we also need to do our cognitive things. Okay, so before she gets too far on the thinking skill, what do we need to learn? Okay, there's studied shapes. Is that the lowest level one? I think that has to be done on the blocks. Yeah, because there's studied shapes, studied letters, studied numbers, max thinking skill, and ask why. So we'll go ahead and do study shapes. And maybe we can actually take the blocks and put them inside since it's raining outside. Oh, we need thinking skill level two to study shapes. Okay, well, she's almost there. Although I think Carla can actually teach her shapes on the blocks. Uh -huh. But we'll go ahead and do it ourselves. Oh, right. Another benefit of making Carla the parent is she gets this parental guidance buff because Carla's done all of the different aspirations. And so Carla actually boosts her skill gain. So I think that was a good call to make Carla the mother, even though technically she's grandmother. I think I like it better that she's the mother. Okay, how long do I have to do this for? Okay, I studied shapes. Now I have to study letters. Yeah, it looks like I can't do that. I think I need thinking level three. Is that why? Well, in any case, watching people is better thinking skill. Okay, thinking level three. Yeah, I don't have the learn letters option. I think maybe the letters is not the next one I'm supposed to get. I was supposed to get the numbers one next. Hopefully this is not bugged. Okay, I did get the studied numbers one, even though that wasn't the next one that they were telling me to get. Okay, level four thinking skill. Now we can ask why, and that is the next one I think that we need to get. Okay, we have the asked why. It's just not showing up on my stupid little menu over here because that one's not visible. Okay, and then the letters is the last one. Okay, we have mastered the thinking skill. Now can we study letters? Oh, spell words. Let's try that. Okay, now we just studied letters and we also maxed the thinking skill. So I think Pandora is ready. She's finally done with the toddler things. Oh, I thought this was going to be an easy week or an easy uh, video, but no, no, this was harder than the infant one for some reason. Okay, and James Turner's lovely website. We have the toddler milestones now. We have communication up to level five potty at level three, imagination level five, thinking level five, movement level five, and we've been adopted, so I don't know why this is showing up under toddler milestones, but that's fine. Uh, adopted a pet, technically we can do this, but I am going to hold off on this one because this one can be done at any age. And celebrated a birthday. We actually did get that milestone several times over. Uh, we did art appreciation, asked why for the first time, maxed imagination skill, maxed thinking skill, studied letters, studied numbers, studied shapes, first nightmare, first time at daycare, mastered potty training, read first book, and this survived seven nights in a haunted house. Again, that's at any age. Through a tantrum, first childhood friend, learned to talk, maxed communication skill, played with others, learned to climb stairs, learned to dance, learned to run, learned to walk, and maxed movement skill. So that is all the toddler specific milestones. And then we do have the infant ones. And supposedly someone in my comments said that you can get this born one if you adopt a newborn the newborn will have the born mild stone so if that's the case then we can actually get this one as well as long as we adopt a newborn instead of adopting a child this time around 
And then we can get the born at home by having a child and having the baby at home. And then adopted a pet, of course, you can get that at any age. And then also survived seven nights at a haunted house. You can get at any age. So there is all of the milestones complete for both infant and toddler. Now, the only question is, what is going to happen when I age her up? Because she already has happy toddler. Is she going to get both happy toddler and top notch toddler? That is an accident. And that is a bug. But... I don't know if she only gets the happy toddler and not the top notch toddler. I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> happy birthday, Pandora. You're going to be a child. No. No, 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 no. Okay. She got screwed up because she has the happy toddler trait instead of the top-notch toddler. Ah, uh, that's not fair. Okay, um, I can fix it, but it's not going to be fun because it means I need to do this part over again. All right. This is just not going as planned at all. <laughs> not at all. Yeah, she only has happy toddler. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Why is she only getting happy toddler? I know she, already, she had happy toddler when I aged her down. That's why. All right, well, I'm going to have to find a place to restart. <laughs> And it's not going to be with this one. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to go back to when she was a glitched toddler, get all of her skills up to level five, so that when I age her up to child and then save her out, she has the top notch toddler trait. And no, no, wait, she does have top notch toddler. Okay. I'm confused now. She has both top-notch toddler and happy toddler. <laughs> I'm blind. But when the age up thing happened, she only had one of these. And now she has both of these. <laughs> that is actually a glitch, but that's okay. I don't have to start over. That's good. All right. Well, um, okay. So, well, we will do a makeover for her. And let's go to Manage Worlds. You know, some of the hairs look nice on the picture, and then you see it on your sim, and it just doesn't work. Yeah, like this one. I don't know what it is with her forehead shape or her head shape, but she just doesn't look the same as the picture. Maybe we'll go with this hair. I never use this hair. Okay, so here we go. We have her everyday, her formal, her athletic, her sleepwear, her party, her swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. And she's kind of a purple girl, usually like a deep plum, but sometimes a bright purple. So that's basically what I went with. Okay, and that's it for this episode. But if you have any ideas of where we should live and how the house should be configured maybe a theme for the house leave it in the comments and also let me know what world we should live in next we're going to move the house and rebuild it each episode especially for each of the life stages so let me know if you have any ideas and this is charity thanks for watching